Just a dad doing his job, huh? Oh! Like many 12-year-old kids, Jackson loves to play outside and on his phone. Give me a high five. I love you. His dad, Justin Banky, is focused on keeping him out of harm's way. He's non-verbally autistic. His son's tendency to wander off inspired him to create Scan Me Home. He has no way to tell anybody who he is, how to get home in the event he does run. Justin came up with an idea to solve that problem with the help of a QR code. All you have to do is scan it. The app pops up and then Jackson's profile pops up. That profile includes any information a parent or caretaker would want someone to know if they found your missing loved one and a way to call you directly to get them home safe. You can put, does he have allergies, does he have seizures? The emergency contact is notified of the exact location the QR code has been scanned. You can buy tags to iron onto clothing, or you can get a Scan Me Home t-shirt that has your unique label printed on it. I don't care if anybody ever uses it. You know, as long as my son has it, I'm happy because he's safe in my mind, right? It's a layer of protection, it's a chance. Scan Me Home already has hundreds of users, and the North Phoenix dad plans to officially launch the app this week. Justin says this concept could benefit a variety of vulnerable people should they go missing. It's not just autism, it's not just Alzheimer's, it's just not dementia. Scan Me Home gives Justin peace of mind. Yeah. Thumbs up which he says is invaluable. It's everything. You know, I couldn't imagine the thought of losing my son and not seeing him again. Justin's main goal right now is spreading awareness that this resource even exists. He hopes to continue to grow and partner with schools, senior living facilities, and nonprofits. He says this app could be a, uh, could be a real lifesaver for teachers during busy field trips, for example. And we've got all of this information and more on our website. Hmm. I, I, I hope that he keeps promoting this because yeah. now people know, people who are watching tonight know, right. know what this is and they would know what to do. Yeah, it seems like it's a very uh, select community that mm -hmm. this would work for. For, but for them, it would be so important. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's even broader than that, too. I mean, you know, we hear about kinds of cases like this where, you know, an older adult that maybe has Alzheimer's mm -hmm. wanders off. Maybe they're not able to communicate right. who they are. So he right. thinks it could really help a lot of people. Yeah. Let's hope it does. Very nice invention. Uh, Michaela, thank you. <laughs> sure.